Howdy folks, Tex here. It's a little snowy outside today in New York, so I'll not be filming this intro outside. I'll be through hiking the Appalachian Trail this year, starting in early to mid-March in Georgia. And in today's video, I'd like to share with you guys what I'll be taking for my first aid and emergency repair kits. Let's take a look. My first aid kit is on the slender side, so I carry just the minimal amount of items that I think I may or definitely will be using. First up, just a couple of band-aids, some alcohol wipes, a tick removal tool. This one's called Ticks Off. A couple of strips of Luco tape. A lot of people roll their Luco tape up, which I tried about a year later when I tried to use it. It seemed like the Luco tape had gotten all stuck on itself. So last year I just used kitchen baking paper and cut little strips of the Luco tape. And all of those items I keep in one little quart size Ziploc. I'm taking three medications with me. First is a generic Pepto-Bismol in case I have some unfortunate town food or the dreaded norovirus. I'm going to try to not take ibuprofen or vitamin I and instead take a NSAD. Um, so this is just generic Tylenol. The reason for this is because I've heard that ibuprofen can decrease circulation and circulation is so important for recovery at the end of each day. And lastly, this is something that I'm adding this year because when I started the trail in Georgia, I had horrible allergies and that was an extra runny nose, runny eyes, and swollen eyelids. So I'm going to be taking some allergy relief, which I still need to bag. If you are taking medications with you, be sure to check the temperature range listed on the product. Some things you might be able to get away with going outside of those ranges, other things you might not want to take that chance on. So last year when it was cold, I did carry a couple of medications on my body uh, right in the same pocket with the water filter so they also wouldn't freeze. In my pack for easy access, I carry one of the Luco tape strips, a little safety pin, and a small pair of scissors in case I need to stop and take care of a blister very quickly. I also carry the Pepto-Bismol and the Tylenol in my hip belt pocket for easy access. For my emergency repair kit, I carry just a couple of items. First up is a repair kit for my sleeping pad, and I'll have to use one of the alcohol pads to clean the pad first if that happens. Just a little bit of tenacious tape in case my puffy gets a hole in it. A little roll of repair tape for my tent, the z pax duplex. A tiny little sewing kit with a couple of safety pins, buttons, and some thread wrapped around a piece of cardboard, and a couple needles shoved in the middle of that cardboard. Just a little bit of duct tape. Most people, I think, wrap them around your trekking poles. I got the little tube on the inside of a dog poo bag and just wrapped my duct tape around that. Very light. One little mini lighter. An extra washer for the Sawyer Squeeze, because if I lose mine for whatever reason, it won't work. And one extra smart water bottle lid, only because I've had one of them break on me before. And all of those repair items I put in a little snack size bag together, and I put it inside the quart size bag with my first aid supplies. That's all. Short and sweet, but there you have it. Thank you guys for joining me again today. Hope this is helpful, especially for anybody who's planning a future hike or perhaps a potential through hike of your own. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.